The Royal Aeronautical Society, also known as the RAIS, is a British multidisciplinary professional institution dedicated to the global aerospace community. Founded in 1866, it is the oldest aeronautical society in the world. Fellows and companions of the society can use the post-nominal letters phrase or craze, respectively. Function The objectives of the Royal Aeronautical Society include, to support and maintain high professional standards in aerospace disciplines, to provide a unique source of specialist information and a local forum for the exchange of ideas, and to exert influence in the interests of aerospace in the public and industrial arenas. The Royal Aeronautical Society is a worldwide society with an international network of 67 branches. Many practitioners of aerospace disciplines use the society's designatory post-nominals such as phrase, craze, MRAES, AMRAES, and ARAES incorporating the former graduate grade, GRADRAES. The RAES headquarters is located in the United Kingdom. The staff of the Royal Aeronautical Society are based at the society's headquarters at No. 4 Hamilton Place, London W1J, 7BQ. The headquarters is on the northeast edge of Hyde Park Corner, with the nearest access being Hyde Park Corner Tube Station. Topic: <inaudible> Publications. The Journal of the Royal Aeronautical Society, ISSN 0368-3931, 1923 to 1967. The Aeronautical Quarterly, 1949 to 1983. Aerospace, 1969–1997 Aerospace International, ISSN 1467–5072 The Aerospace Professional, 1998–2013 The Aeronautical Journal, ISSN 0001-9240-1897 to date. The Journal of Aeronautical History, 2011 to date Aerospace ISSN 2052 to 451 X 2013 to date. Topic branches and divisions branches are the regional embodiment of the society. They deliver membership benefits and provide a global platform for the dissemination of aerospace information. As of September 2013, branches located in the United Kingdom include Belfast, Birmingham, Boscombe Down, Bristol, Bruff, Cambridge, Cardiff, Chester, Christchurch, Coventry, Cranfield, Cranwell, Derby, FAA Yeovilton, Farnborough, Gatwick, Gloucester and Cheltenham, Hatfield, Heathrow, Highland, Isle of Wight, Isle of Man, Loughborough, Manchester, Marham, Medway, Oxford, Preston, Prestwick, Sheffield, Solent, Southend, Stevenage, Swindon, Weybridge, and Yeovil. The Rays International Branch Network includes Adelaide, Auckland, Blenheim, Brisbane, Brussels, Canberra, Canterbury, Cyprus, Dublin, Hamburg, Hamilton, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Melbourne, Montreal, Munich, Palmerston North, Paris, Perth, Seattle, Singapore, Sydney, Toulouse, and the UAE. Divisions of the society have been formed in countries and regions that can sustain a number of branches. Divisions operate with a large degree of autonomy, being responsible for their own branch network, membership recruitment, subscription levels, conference and lecture programs. Specialist groups covering all facets of the aerospace industry exist under the overall umbrella of the society, with the aim of serving the interests of both enthusiasts and industry professionals. The group's remit is to consider significant developments in their field, and they attempt to achieve this through their conferences and lectures, with the intention of stimulating debate and facilitating action on key industry issues in order to reflect and respond to the constant innovation and progress in aviation. The groups also act as focal points for all inquiries to the society concerning the specialist subject matter, forming a crucial interface between the society and the world in general. As of September 2013, the specialist group committees are as follows, Aerodynamics, Aerospace Medicine, Air Power, Air Law, Air Transport, Airworthiness and Maintenance, Avionics and Systems, Environment, Flight Operations, Flight Simulation, Flight Test, General Aviation, Greener by Design, Historical, Human Factors, Human Powered Flight, Propulsion, Rotorcraft, Space, Structures and Materials, UAS, Weapons Systems and Technologies, and Women in Aviation and Aerospace. In 2009, the Royal Aeronautical Society formed a group of experts to document how to better simulate aircraft upset conditions, and thus improve training programs. History 
The society was founded in January 1866 with the name, the Aeronautical Society of Great Britain, and is the oldest aeronautical society in the world. Early or founding members included James Glacier, Francis Wenham, the Duke of Argyll, and Frederick Brary. In the first year, there were 65 members, at the end of the second year, 91 members, and in the third year, 106 members. Annual reports were produced in the first decades. In 1868 the Society held a major exhibition at London's Crystal Palace with 78 entries. John Stringfellow's steam engine was shown there. The Society sponsored the first wind tunnel in 1870–71, designed by Wenham and Browning. In 1918, the organization's name was changed to the Royal Aeronautical Society. In 1923, its principal journal was renamed from the Aeronautical Journal to the Journal of the Royal Aeronautical Society, and in 1927, the Institution of Aeronautical Engineers Journal was merged into it. In 1940, the Rays responded to the wartime need to expand the aircraft industry. The Society established a technical department to bring together the best available knowledge and present it in an authoritative and accessible form, a working tool for engineers who might come from other industries and lack the specialized knowledge required for aircraft design. This technical department became known as the Engineering Sciences Data Unit and eventually became a separate entity in the 1980s. In 1987 the Society of Licensed Aircraft Engineers and Technologists previously called the Society of Licensed Aircraft Engineers was incorporated into the Royal Aeronautical Society. Presidents The following have served as President of the Royal Aeronautical Society. Chief Executives Keith Manns was Chief Executive from 1998 to 2009 Simon Luxmore was Chief Executive from 2009 to 2018 Sir Brian Burridge CBE Phrase, from 1 October 2018 Medals and awards In addition to the award of Fellowship of the Royal Aeronautical Society phrase, the Society awards several other medals and prizes. These include its gold, silver, and bronze medals. The very first gold medal was awarded in 1909 to the Wright brothers. Although it is unusual for more than one medal in each of the three grades to be awarded annually, since 2004 the Society has also periodically awarded team medals gold, silver, and bronze for exceptional or groundbreaking teamwork in aeronautical research and development. Others awarded have included the R. P. Alston Memorial Prize for Developments in Flight Testing, the Edward Busk Prize for Applied Aerodynamics, the Wakefield Medal for Advances in Aviation Safety, and an Orville Wright Prize. Honorary fellowships and honorary companionships are awarded as well. The Sir Robert Hardingham Sword The Sir Robert Hardingham Sword is awarded in recognition of outstanding service to the Rays by a member of the Society, nominally an annual award, in practice the award is only made about one year in two. Notable medal recipients Notable gold medal recipients include 1909 Wilbur and Orville Wright 1910 Octave Chanute 1945 Air CDRE Frank Whittle 1950 Sir Geoffrey de Havilland 1955 Ernest Hives, 1st Baron Hives, for his outstanding work in the field of aircraft propulsion 1958 Sidney Cam 1959 Marcel Dessou 1960 Sir Frederick Handley Page 1977 George Lee 1983 Jeffrey Lilly 1993 Rymar Horton 2012 Elon Musk Topic Honorary Fellows Topic Honorary Companions Topic Named Lectures 
Topic Henson and Stringfellow Lecture and Dinner The annual Henson and Stringfellow Lecture and Dinner is hosted yearly by the Yeovil branch of the Royal Aeronautical Society, held at Westland Leisure Complex, and is a key social and networking event of the Yeovil lecture season. It is a black tie event attracting over 200 guests drawn from all sectors of the aerospace community. John Stringfellow created, alongside William Samuel Henson, the first powered flight aircraft, developed in Chard, Somerset, which flew unmanned in 1848, 63 years prior to brothers Wilbur and Orville Wright's flight. Topic Wilbur and Orville Wright named lecture The Wilbur and Orville Wright named lecture was established in 1911 to honor the Wright brothers, the successful and experienced mechanical engineers who completed the first successful controlled powered flight on 17 December 1903. The Wilbur and Orville Wright Lecture is the principal event in the Society's year, given by distinguished members of the U.S. and U.K. aerospace communities. The 99th lecture was given by Piers Sellers, astronaut, on 9 December 2010 at the Society's headquarters in London. The 100th lecture was given by Susanna Darcy Henneman, Chief Pilot and Director of Training, Boeing Commercial Airplanes, on 8 December 2011. The 101st lecture was given by Tony Parasida, Corporate Vice President, the Boeing Company, on 20 December 2012. The 2013 lecture was given by Thomas Enders, CEO of EADS, on 12 December 2013. Topic. Amy Johnson named lecture The Amy Johnson named lecture was inaugurated in 2011 by the Royal Aeronautical Society's Women in Aviation and Aerospace Committee to celebrate a century of women in flight and to honor Britain's most famous woman aviator. The lecture is held on or close to 6 July every year to mark the date in 1929 when Amy Johnson was awarded her pilot's license. The lecture is intended to tackle serious issues of interest to a wide audience, not just women. High-profile women from industry are asked to lecture on a topic that speaks of future challenges of interest to everyone. Carolyn McCall, chief executive of EasyJet, delivered the inaugural lecture on the 6th of July 2011 at the Society's headquarters in London. The second Amy Johnson named lecture was delivered by Marion C. Blakey, president and chief executive of Aerospace Industries Association (AIA) on the 5th of July 2012. The third lecture was delivered by Gretchen Haskins, former group director of the Safety Regulation Group of the UK Civil Aviation Authority (CAA) on the 8th of July 2013. In 2017, Catherine Bennett OBE Fraze, Senior Vice President Public Affairs, Airbus gave the Amy Johnson Lecture and in 2018 Air Vice Marshal Sue Gray, CB, OBE from the Royal Air Force gave the Amy Johnson Lecture in honor of the 100th anniversary of the RAF.